Do you guys have a bunch of frozen fish in the freezer that you're starting to get worried about? Fear not, you've come to the right place. I've got some frozen yellowtail and I'm going to create an insane ceviche tostada that's going to blow your mind. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, where my goal is to help you cook your cash over a thousand different ways. I went to the local Mexican market and I got some chilies. These are related to Anaheim chilies, they're called chiliacas. They're just a little bit spicier, but a lot more complex flavors. Also, red onions, you need a few of these. Lots and lots of limes. And I got some habaneros, because I'm gonna shave them up and use them as garnish. On top of that, on top of that we need our tostadas and that frozen yellowtail. All right, so here's my frozen fish vacuum packed. I've got a container of a container of water here. I've got my faucet barely at a trickle, and I'm going to immerse this right in the water. And this would normally take about a half an hour or so to completely thaw out. As this fish is thawing right now, I'm going to start chopping up my veggies. Okay, I took out my precision shun Japanese knife here because I want to make, I want to cut these red onions into nice wedges. So, instead of just cutting them straight, I'm gonna actually cut them into pie wedges. Narrow pie wedges. So we'll start here at the bottom, and we work towards the center. See that? It's fat on that side, skinny on this side. This is a technique you can, you can learn, just practice a little bit and you'll get good at it. And the reason I need precision cutting is because this dish is so simple, everything has to look great. The cut onions have to look good, the cut uh, peppers have to look good, and the cut fish. So if you ever see shaved wedges of red onions, that's how you do it. Let's get one of these chiliaca peppers. We'll cut the bottom off, cut the top off, and I want these nice and thinly cut. That's another reason I brought out this knife. See, I'm cutting the pepper, but I'm not squishing the pepper, so it's still, I'm not squishing the pepper, so it still looks like a pepper. It just doesn't look like cut up green little worms in our ceviche. So the way things look is very important because we all eat with our eyes. All right, there's our peppers. And here's the habanero. I want to try and cut this as thin as I possibly can. Okay, there we go. Some thinly shaved habanero for the garnish. Whew, that smells hot. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my yellowtail. I'm gonna cut it lengthwise first. Here we go. I love these Kuda knives. Wow. Here we go. Okay, it's time to take this fish and add it to our mixture. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little coarse sea salt and I'm using really coarse sea salt here because I wanna get a textural crunch. Not a lot, but just a little bit. I've got about a half a pound of yellowtail here and I'm gonna add six limes. All right, there's something actually that I forgot to tell you guys. And this is, this is a ceviche tostada, but it's not a ceviche in a traditional sense because we are not gonna let this fish sit in the lime juice for any given length of time at all. As soon as I finish squeezing all these limes into this, I'm gonna mix it up, I'm gonna put it on a tostada and eat it. And actually, that's more of a crudo than it is a ceviche. Crudo 
is the way that raw fish is eaten in the Mediterranean. It's typically cut up into nice thin slices, lemon and olive oil, salt, pepper, and maybe a few vegetables, and it's eaten raw, and that's called crudo. Now, in Peru and in some parts of South America, they have adopted this crudo into their ceviche. In the past, I've told you that when you immerse fish in citrus juice, you only need to immerse it for a couple of hours and then you start taste, uh, testing it to see for doneness. But in this particular case, after we're done squeezing these limes in here, it's time to mix it up and serve it up, making it the world's fastest dish. Not to mention one of the world's yummiest. And what's way cool is we're using frozen yellowtail that's been in my freezer for four months. And if you don't believe me after I tell you how yummy this is, I'm going to be serving up the guys at the Let's Talk hookup radio station on Sunday morning this very dish. Pete Gray and Rock Cod Rick will be eating this and I'm not going to say boo about what kind of fish or whether it's fresh or frozen. Let's see what they think. All right, so that's all my limes. Now I'm gonna take these magic spoons and mix. And here's my last super secret ingredient, a little bit of tagine. Oh my God, take a look at this. Wow. I know, can you believe this? We just put the lime in the mixture and it's ready to eat. Oh my God, oh my God, I love that. That's called instant food. Yeah, I can't wait to share this with the boys at the radio station this Sunday morning. I hope I'm gonna blow their minds, we'll see. Wow, look at that. Frozen fish shouldn't be a problem, not with this recipe. Oh my God, you can make this in an hour or less. And if you've got frozen fish that's been vacuum bagged properly, like one of our local processors here in SoCal, you won't have a problem with this. If you guys have any questions about this particular recipe, ask them down below. And please, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way you can keep up with all these crazy recipes that I come up with. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God, there is a ton of wild flavors going on here. And by no stretch of the imagination is my tongue telling me that this is frozen fish. If a fisherman handed me this yellowtail and said this was fresh, I would believe him. This is outstanding. The flavors are just bouncing all over the walls of the inside of my mouth. I can see how South America has fallen in love with this dish. And I think this is a perfect dish for those of you who've got some frozen fish that are vacuum packed and you're just dying to do something with them. This is a great afternoon snack. This is a great nighttime dinner. This is awesome. Give this a try. My name's Yanni. We'll see you guys next time. Mmm.